Um, I have two reminder arrows um, before I get off the ladder. The first one is to talk about the drip edge. We're gonna replace this piece of white metal uh, with your new roof. And then uh, the gutters. The gutters seem to be in pretty good shape. So what we're gonna do is we, uh, your father asked this question, which was very good. He said, what are you gonna do with the gutters? We are gonna gently re uh, pull the gutters away from the roof, just enough to get the new drip edge, and then we're gonna reinstall the gutters. Typically, we don't even have to take the gutters to the ground, and that's gonna keep them from getting, dent keep them from getting dented up. Um, so that's the two reminder arrows. As you can see here, I made this circle, and you can just see all the granule loss that's on the shingles. So these poor guys, they've definitely have uh, been up here for a while. It looks like Dade uh, frayed denim right here. So the granules on the shingles, in every sense of the word, that's your sunblock for your house. So once you lose the granules, all the protective chemicals in the asphalt shingles start to leach out and the shingles become extraordinarily brittle, brittle almost like saltine crackers. And that's exactly what they're starting to do. And that's gonna start causing other problems that I'll talk about in a second. So getting up on this very steep roof, I have another reminder arrow to talk about the, the little uh, dead areas is what they're called. So obviously it goes without saying how important it is to do this correctly. Uh, replace the flashing, put the new roof over top of that. This is more of the same of the granules. And then coming up here, I noticed when I was walking this way, there's a bit of a soft spot right here, okay? Um, with your new roof, you're gonna get approximately 100 square feet of uh, plywood replacement that comes with your, your roof. That typically takes care of all problems or replacement of the plywood. Very rarely do we have to charge extra for plywood. It's on the contract though. And then probably the biggest problem with the roof is that you have what's called lift up. So very gently, I'll explain that when you lose the bond between the back of the shingle and the roof itself, it's not gonna sit back down. It's just gonna keep flopping around till it eventually breaks off. Unfortunately, due to the age of the shingles and the, the granule loss, they're becoming very brittle. So you can kind of forget about hurricane season, anything around a tropical storm force winds, these shingles are gonna start breaking off. And you have a nice little scar there. Let's go this way real quick. Kind of a big roof, so I gotta move fast. Here's more of the same. It seems like this side of the roof has more damage. More, oh, look at these poor guys. Just kind of barely hanging on. Okay, uh, looks like you had some patchwork done there. And then there's another soft spot. Let's see if I can show you. Right through here. So again, we're gonna replace that wood. Here's more lift up. I checked all sides of the roof. A little more scarring, lift up. We're gonna come back to this area. We're going to replace all the gooseneck style vents. We're gonna reboot all the bathroom vents. I checked this side too. This is a uh, this is usually the storm side, right? Coming off the ocean. So these poor guys, you can pretty much check anywhere on the roof and find the same, same conclusion. And then we have there, but there's more to talk about. Let's talk about for a second, how Florida native, how we're gonna redo your roof and do it correctly. Forgive my metal example here, but really the top layer is not nearly as important as the layers underneath. Speaking of the top layer, so here's gonna be your new color, okay? Hunter green. All right, so again, forget this for a second. Imagine this with me. We're gonna remove all the shingles, get down to the bare plywood roof. Anything remotely bad like we've talked about, we're gonna replace and we typically don't have to charge you extra for it. Just anything over 100 square feet, which is a lot. Building codes, they're always being updated. The latest, greatest one says, place a new nail in your bare plywood roof holding the plywood to the roof trusses, place a new nail every six inches. We go every four to five inches. We're gonna double, triple the number of nails holding your plywood to your trusses. This is really important. This is called waterproof barrier, okay, or peel and stick. We're gonna cover every inch of this bare plywood roof with waterproof barrier, and then we're gonna put your 30-year shingles on top of that, and that's what's gonna make for the, the best roof.